Right, here we go then. This is the poem about the seaside. It's called Glass Beach. Waves gently crash, distant drops, salty brine, and draw back sand. Beach pebbles rattle, the smooth curve and warm upon shoreline wash. People gossip, saunter back to bands for a standing oak. They scratch legs with push off hands on sunburned legs. They swim batter back to be served with chips and curry pot sauce. An alcoholic sea laps upon a beach, a glass of broken Clouds out of blue sky, way beyond the sunshine's route, and from entering down to our painted atmosphere. Onto a capitalistic spider as he spins his business web and branches into the system's crew. On a poor fly trapped in the bondage of regulation and eaten up in her own sexuality. But subversive winds of change blows through the branches and destroys the spider's web of game. Then crying rain comes roaring down, and the spider is washed up down into a muddy drain.
perfect scene. Beneath gas lamps, black night skies, the weary sounds of distant cries. The walk streets cobbled stones through darkened alleys, squalid zones. The candlelight misery strains through smudged glass and dirty pane. From lonely rooms in dancing light that calls out into the night. A lack of hope in dark and shame, lack of night in cold and rain. Rips from ease to an icicle morning. Clear and cold and pointing down, austere spikes hang down as rods or bars in front of pain glass windows. Trouble. Dozy doors snore and swing, ascending steps, taps, footsteps echo. Evidently trying to do our jobs, fingers stain white lead sheets. Movements to trace, inquisitions follow us home into dreams, restless sleep. Imagination bangs its head on smooth, hard walled corridors, and through an endless, hapless maze of dreams, life's dignity screams in silence. Something that she said. She has so much potential that sometimes up and down. She didn't like her work, but it got her in It really was a problem, but she chose to ignore it. Like clothes that don't fit, stubbornly she wore it. In the mad rush, she did a foolish thing. In a split second, a split thought could bring. An indecision, she made a silly choice. She opened up her mouth to articulate her voice. Across the smoke filled room, sounds were drunken. As the drinkers sat and chatted, slumped and sunk. Okay then, here we go. Sentenced to death. Hangs from the gallows of creative writing. Swinging from the gibbet of sentence construction. With a grammar that stands on the essence of her voice. The alphabet hung as a necklace around the vocality of her wordy neck. She wanted to swallow all the letters in quick succession, punctuation as well, but that would have been suicide. 